Hey guys, what's up? Jasal here. Uh, today I'm bringing you the video that you have been waiting for, and I have been being bugged over and over and over and over and over about. Uh, this is the macros, and how I've got all my skills set up and all that good shit. So uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, first off, I want to say I have. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Come on, man, you're fucking me up. Alright. <laughs> I do apologize for that. You obviously seen what just popped up on my screen. <laughs> Alright. First off, I have gemmed 160 critical strike and 80 PvP power. I have gemmed that 1, 2, 3. Three, three times. Now, another gem that I'm using that you guys might not be able to, depending on if you can jewel craft or not, I have a 480 critical strike gem. This being because that is obviously better than a 3, uh, I think it was 320 critical strike. Uh, yeah, 320. I'm only allowed two of them, so I have two of those, and then I have two of the uh, 320 critical strike. Um, all this that I'm doing right now that I'm showing you is all going to be in the description. So, if you don't catch it in this video and you don't really feel like slowing it down and stuff, then you can find all that in the description. So don't, don't get too pressured over it. Uh, I want to say, with this I have went to a critical strike because I've tried strength and that just didn't work for me. I've tried resilience and that just didn't work for me. But the uh, the critical strike, that, that really works. So what I've done is I go, my main is a critical strike. If I can't get critical strike, I'll go for strength. And if I can't go for strength, I'll go for PvP power. That, that works for me. Now, this might not work for you guys, and it might work for you guys like it works for me. But... That's just how I've got my stuff set up. It just works like that. Now, my expertise, I have it. Uh, it's supposed to be 6%, but I cannot drop it to 6%. So 7.81 is the lowest I can get it. My hit is supposed to be a 4%. Uh, yet again, I've tried to get it lower. Uh, reforging, I just can't. Uh, this right here is working out perfectly because then it allows me to get all the strength and uh, crit that I need in there. And even just going a full uh, full crit, I still have that much strength, which is fantastic. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, let's jump into my talents. I have double time, second win, Piercing Howl, Blade Storm, Mass Spell Reflection, because if you have anything other than Mass Spell Reflection, you're retarded. If you, I, I also have Storm Bolt. Now, a lot of times I will alternate back from Storm Bolt to Bloodbath. And Bloodbath just works. Storm Bolt is just an extra stun for a lot of classes like uh, uh, Warlock. You'll need an extra stun for it. Just helps. Um, I don't use Warbringer. A lot of people use it. I don't see a point in it. I'm trying to figure out why you would want to uh, root a target over stunning it for the exact same amount of time. If you're versing uh, any kind of casting class at all, you are fucking yourself, literally. Because wouldn't you rather stun them instead of just rooting them? Because... If they're rooted, they can still cast you. So, a lot of people use Juggernaut. Juggernaut is great. Uh, Juggernaut is the one I would tell you guys to go with if you know how to use your uh, charges. I I don't really worry about that because I charge as much as possible. Uh, every second I can get a charge is when I charge. So, having two charges works perfectly for me. Um... Second wind at this point is just too overpowered not to use. 
uh, you don't have to do anything, it just happens, which is amazing. Uh, I usually go with Enrage Regeneration, and uh, I, I'm not doing that right now because of second one, it's just too overpowered. Um, Piercing How, uh, we no longer uh, Disrupting Shout because it shares a cooldown, a 15 second cooldown with Pummel, which is terrible. So, uh, most of us have gone to Piercing How, or uh, the Staggering Shout. One of these two, I go with Piercing How because it just slows your enemy. And a lot of times it's hard for a warrior to get a... You gotta, you gotta have control of the situation, and with Piercing How, it just allows you to have control of the situation the whole time. Um, let me think. Why would you pick Shockwave over Bladestorm? Shockwave is great if you know how to... If you know how to actually... You have to angle it right, otherwise Shockwave is useless. If you do not hit your enemy, it is pointless. You just wasted, wasted one of the best things you could have. I don't like to risk it, so I always go with Bladestorm. Bladestorm just does... A lot of fucking damage. It, it's unreal. Um, mass spell reflection. That's there's nothing to be said there, guys. If you don't have mass spell reflection, you obviously don't know how to play a warrior, and that's why you're here. So, please do. I don't. I don't want to. If you're not a tank, I don't want to see you with these. I don't want to see that. That just. It's not supposed to be like that. Uh, mass spell reflection is just a need. Uh, you will use that over pretty much any class you verse other than a warrior. Uh, that's all there is to it. You can verse them with hunters, you can mass spell reflect a trap and shit. Uh, it's just amazing. Uh, the spiders that cast the web and shit, you can mass spell reflect a web. So if you don't have mass spell reflect, you're just... You're hurting yourself and you're hurting your team, which I don't really recommend that. Um... This level 90 is all up to you guys. I I would not pick Avatar. Avatar is terrible. It's a three minute cooldown, which sucks. Which means you're only gonna if you're doing twos, you're only gonna be able to use that once. Uh, Bloodbath is awesome. You can use that over and over and over and over in a in an arena. Uh, along with Stormbolt. I mean, you got a minute cooldown, a 30 second cooldown. That's a stun. That's just more damage. I mean, it's simple as that. I go with Stormbolt. I go with Bloodbath in an arena because I like to mix it with a Blade Storm because they're both a one-minute cooldown. It just works that way. But if I'm just versing friends and stuff, I use a Stormbolt just for that extra stun because sometimes you need it. Um, now that I've got all that covered, I'm going to go with uh, Glyphs now and show you guys what I've got. Um, Bull Rush is a great glyph. 15 additional rage. There's not really much more to be said about that. Uh, death from above, you need this because uh, it reduces your cooldown by 15 seconds. That, you, that allows you to use uh, your heroic leap way more than you could imagine. Especially in twos it helps. Um, the next one I have is Glyph of Colossal Smash. That is a, it's a, that's a must-have. If you don't have that, you're doing something wrong. Uh, last but not least, we're going to go with the, uh, Minor Glyphs. Um, these are pretty much all your, how you play, how you feel you should have them. They really don't mean anything. A lot of the small glyphs are just like this one right here, Glyph of Blazing Trail. Just leaves flames behind you. That's it. As you could just see there. Um, this one here, uh, Glyph of Intimidating Shout is awesome. Because, especially when you you can go in and fear, and they stay in place. They don't run around. It makes it easier to pop a one-shot and run them over with Bladestorm. I mean, they stay right there for you. Uh... That one right there is nothing fancy. It just makes a 
uh, your deep wounds are even bloodier than normal. That's it. So uh, that's it for all the glyphs and the talents, and uh, that's it for that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go to macros real quick. My macros I have set. I have uh, my one shot is slash or uh, uh, shit. I just forgot what that was called. Um, number sign show tool tip bloodbath because bloodbath is my longest cooldown. So I'd like to see it when I like you know it'll show you when the cooldown's over my numbers and stuff. So like the number will be like 35 seconds that's shown me that there's 35 seconds of my highest cooldown left which that'll tell me that all of them are then ready okay i have slash cast recklessness uh slash use prideful gladiator bad badge of victory slash cast skull banner uh the flask and stuff like that they only help when you're just dueling one-on-one -on -one. if you're in an arena that stuff doesn't help but I always keep it there just in case, because I'd like to be able to pop my one shot and have everything working for me when I'm versing a friend. And then slash cast blade storm, just to finish it off. Now, uh, my charge, this is very important to have. Uh, the slash cancel aurora blade storm. This being, uh, now I copied this one from Bajira. Bajira is a great player. And there's just, that's all that can be said about that. He's just a fantastic player. He knows how to play. He's been playing for way too long. And he uses it. And what this does is we're going to blow this. Where's it at? We're going to blow this, and then I'm going to charge. You see how it stopped my blade storm, and I was immediately able to charge? That's because of the slash cancel Aurora Blade Storm. It will immediately stop your Blade Storm so you can pull off a charge. And then it's slash cash charge. That's all that there is for that one. Um, we're going to go to. Uh, I got it as Setter's Retaliation. Um, it's a slash cancel Aurora Blade Storm because if you're in a Blade Storm and you need to stop to get some health back that is a great way to stop is so you don't have to charge in it just stops it right there you can uh, this I got disarm on there in case I'm targeted on somebody they can immediately stop doing too much damage to me uh, defensive stance which is just to make sure I'm in defensive stance you're all you should all as an arms warrior you should always be in defensive stance that's all there is to it um, die by the sword, commanding shout, just to make sure I'm constantly buffed, rallying cry, health stone, and then the potion, you can actually use the potion in arenas, which is great. The flask, you cannot. Um, I'm not sure why, but they just don't allow it in arenas. So I still have that on there in case I'm versing, like I said. Um, friends. Now, my next one I have is a shield wall. That's uh, macroed. It's got a lot in it as well. Uh, it's a uh, slash cancel Aurora Blade Storm, disarm, defensive stance, pretty much the same thing, mocking banner, and then shield wall, commanding shout, just to make sure I'm buffed, uh, prideful gladiators, emblem of. Uh, I can never pronounce that word. Krillity, Cruel, Cruel, whatever. And then another healing potion. And these work great. They uh, keep my health up. Uh, my health will be down to 3%. And I pop one of these and my health is 50% again. It's just, it works that good. Um, this is another one. I'm not going to tell, I'm going to tell you how this one works. I'm not going to go through here and explain it too much. It'll be in the description. But what this does is it allows you to throw out a banner and then by clicking the same button, intervene to it. 
which is just another way of like heroic leaping. It's kind of the same thing. All you have to do is click it twice. You click it once, set the banner, click it again, and you automatically intervene to it. It's it's fantastic. Um, that's all going to be in the description. Everything I just went over is all going to be there. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, get a hold of me somehow. Uh, you can go to my uh, website. You can uh, add contact there. And I will get all those emails. I get every email from uh, notifications on my uh, my videos. Uh, anytime you send me a message through YouTube, I will get it. Uh, Facebook, I get all those messages. Um, I have given you guys so many ways to get a hold of me. So uh, if you have any questions, just in the description, it also tells you how you're able to get a hold of me uh, step by step. So... Uh, what else should I do? James, you still there? Yeah. What do you think? Anything they should be knowing? Um, you, what do you do? You've done macros and all that, haven't you? Yeah. What do you think of all that? Honest opinion. Uh, you missed more important stuff, like, not stuff what's including that, like, share and throw, disarms. Oh, like you know. a rotation? Yeah, I re you missed the rotation. Well, right. If I was doing it, do I would have disarms in there. You want to do that? <laughs> Why would I want to do it? Huh? What do I have to do? You want to explain the rotation? Recording. I'm kind of tired. 